Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump is suing Michael Cohen for $500 million. This is, I think, quite justified because you had Michael Cohen, who lied to Congress, who told his attorneys, or through his attorneys, wrote a letter stating Trump did not commit a crime, and then backpedaled, backtracked, and then said, after he had spoken to prosecutors, Democratic Party, New York prosecutors, oh, if he gets a better deal, or if he flips and turns on Trump, he'll get a better deal. So let's just read this really quickly, because he was, according to the New York Post, $22 million in debt. And again, he was convicted, he's a convicted felon, because of millions upon millions owed to the IRS. Okay. He got a better deal. He would have served more prison time. And he got a better deal turning and flipping on Trump. So, he already, he was actually suing BuzzFeed for being part of the Steele dossier. Which was complete nonsense and purchased by Clinton's campaign and the DNC. And oh, by the way. The Steele dossier caused Clinton and the DNC to be fined by the FEC, and the FEC didn't even find Trump. But here, CNBC, Trump sues former lawyer Michael Cohen, key witness in Manhattan DA probe for $500 million. Alan Dershowitz says if he's the key witness, uh, Alvin Bragg should be disbarred. Because you have Michael Cohen who lied repeatedly, or I should say perhaps even perhaps told the truth repeatedly, then claimed that he lied and admitted to lying. Um, initially, he stated there was no campaign money, which there wasn't any. It was a shell corporation that he started. He had done this almost certainly for many, many clients. But anyway, former Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump sued his one-time personal lawyer, Michael, Michael Cohen. Trump is seeking at least $500 million for alleged breaches of contract, unjust enrichment, and other causes. This is very interesting. I mean, if you have a contract with anybody, an attorney, and then suddenly, because of, because of the person's crim- the, 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 the other person's criminal behavior, so there's extortion here from Stormy waiting until October of 2016. There's Michael Cohen, who's a convicted felon on things that have nothing to do with Trump, his own criminal activity. Trump didn't commit a crime here. There's not even a federal crime within the indictment. Cohen has become a key witness against Trump. If you're, if you're a key witness, you're already in a written statement through your attorney stating that Trump didn't do anything wrong. And you're already to Congress stating there was no campaign finance issue. But here, former President Donald Trump sued his one-time personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, on, uh, on Wednesday, seeking at least $500 million for alleged breaches of contract and unjust enrichment. The civil suit filed in federal court in Miami. In Miami, accused Cohen of spreading falsehoods about Trump, that's violating his attorney-client relationship, which he did, and breaching confidentiality agreement he had signed with the Trump Organization, which he did. It's interesting. These people sign NDAs, and they just breach them the second they're confronted by an operative of the Democratic Party, whether it's a lawyer, a public relations executive, whatever, or a prosecutor. <laughs> so the Democratic Party is a machine, a well-oiled machine. That's something that it the, the machine is actually slowing down because it's in overdrive and it just really can't it, – it's, it's on its way to slowing down. It cannot continue trying to torment Trump nonstop because there are just diminishing returns. But hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen, right now. Go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, along The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. Go to contactgoodman88 at gmail.com to be part of a newsletter. And ladies and gentlemen, the super thanks is below next to the like and the share buttons. Um, to my new Patreons, thank you. The Patreon is below, and I should have a live stream tonight at around 9 p.m. Pacific time. So be here at around 9 p.m. Pacific time. I should have a live stream, ladies and gentlemen. The allegations against Cohen, who once whose once close relationship with Trump imploded in 2018, came as the disbarred, he's disbarred also, lawyer has become a key witness against, so against former President Trump. Um, 
Trump, the ex-president, the first ex-president to face criminal charges. Yeah, gee, I wonder why. With Democrats in New York. See, you have Democrats in Congress impeaching Trump twice. The first president to be impeached twice. It's like, well, yeah, they, he was impeached on things that weren't even criminal acts. Okay. Biden, I mean, uh, Clinton was impeached and committed, well, he was impeached for perjury. Perjury is a criminal act. Okay, he committed perjury. Trump didn't commit a crime. Not in January. He stood peaceful. He didn't organize anything. The, uh, the Federal Bureau of Investigation cleared him immediately. But of course, Kinzinger started crying for two years and they couldn't indict Trump because he didn't commit a crime. You have to commit a crime to be indicted and uh, or, or not a crime in New York. So they say, see, Trump is a, they say like, oh, Trump's a criminal. If Trump is the criminal, what's Hunter Biden? What's Hillary Clinton? I think Hillary Clinton will be the 24 nominee. You see, everyone is capable of looking at things from an aggregate viewpoint. What Democrats do is their emotions, or wonderful morally superior liberals, their emotions take control of logic and reason. You look at everything from an aggregate macro viewpoint. Here you have Trump indicted after being investigated for everything under the sun, indicted after the former DA couldn't find anything, the FEC didn't find him, so you have to look at Democratic Party involvement, the objective, not actually the apolitical view, it's not even a partisan view, the apolitical view is that, yeah, there's probably some political pressure to indict Trump, that the rule of law is thrown out the window for political considerations. It's in New York with lifelong Democrats who campaigned on indicting Trump because they needed to find a crime, okay? The FEC didn't even find Trump. They fined Clinton for actually what, what they're accusing Trump of, claiming legal services, and so Clinton claimed legal services, they weren't legal services, and campaign funding, directly campaign funding, was used to purchase the Steele dossier, which was completely full of lies. But you have private servers that are illegal, you can't have private servers in the government. Just you, you know that the crimes were committed because not one human being will ever be able to have a private server in the government again. And we'll ever have the luxury of saying, well, no reasonable prosecutor would indict. And it's impossible to transfer classified data onto un unsecured servers outside the U.S. government. It's not even possible from a cybersecurity perspective. Okay. Then, then you have uh, Hunter's litany of crimes, financial. There's a whole other crimes within those, those that laptop. But a Delaware prosecutor is, pro is, is investigating. Okay, another, when Democrats say, well, it's being investigated, and a Democrat is being investigated, that means, well, we're just trying to run out the clock here, and eventually, you know, we might not find it, the prosecutor might not find anything with Democrats, gee, they investigated Bill and Hillary's foundation for like two seconds, couldn't find anything, meanwhile, there were like books written, and articles beyond, like, endless articles on corruption, and, and very, very bizarre, shady, uh, transactions of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, then Uranium One deals and all that. No, it's not a problem. It's a commodity. Just like oil, which there's an embargo of uh, from that country. But anyway, the famously litigious former president. I love when they call him famously litigious, and they're going after him through the courts every day. Stormy Daniels, by the way, owes Trump $600,000, okay? So... There's a, there's, a, there's a good chance that he wins this, uh, or there's a chance that he wins this, because you had Michael Cohen uh, turning, flipping and, and turning on Trump because he got a better deal, okay? So on the witness stand, he'll simply be asked, did you get a better deal um, to turn and flip on Trump? Um, but again, it's like, you had a man who is disbarred, convicted felon, lied, lied to Congress. I mean, what more? They, okay, the judges throw out lawsuits when Trump goes after public officials. This is a convicted felon, disbarred, a disbarred convicted felon who lied to Congress and lied on a letter through his attorney saying Trump is innocent of any wrongdoing. 
pretty good lawsuit there. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. I'll be back in an hour. Be here for the live stream.